The reason we do this hole first is that all the other holes look clean. And so we want to see where we get the hole here because we don't want to start digging down there and having the line go this way with one tree popped out too far. It doesn't look right. So we're going to cut this up as far as we can until we get to the basal flight of the tree. And uh, we'll see how the hole goes and we'll match it up so that when we have all the trees, all the trees in our line, it looked like it wasn't, there wasn't a problem, there wasn't any issues with it. Alright, well if you take a look at our holes, some of them are nice and wide and some of them are a little bit not wide. But the idea that we're going to do now is we're going to go through and make them wider. But that's two reasons really. First one, it's obvious that if you wire the hole you can move the tree in so you line it up better. It makes a straighter line and then when you look at it, they're all equally spaced. Second reason is that when you backfill, well, it's easier for you to get the soil. If, you look down, if the ball is right in here, it's easier for you to work the soil around the tree so there's no air spaces around the tree. We'll take a look at that later. But working the soil into the ground and line up the tree to uh, make it sure it's all in line is the reasons why you make the holes wider. All right, we're going to be putting the trees in the hole. We already have two of them lined up where they're going to go. What we do is uh, we actually have to, we dug our holes a little deep, so we have to go back to the hole and fill it in with a little soil. And uh, when we push this guy out, let's do this one real quick to let you guys see how we do it. We put it into the hole, and we look at it, we don't want to make sure it's too deep, because if it's too deep, the, the roots will start to rot a little bit, and we don't want that. So we always, there's a saying that we go, it's too high, it never dies, if it's too low, it never grows. And that's pretty much accurate to it. And then after we have it in the hole, we want to line it up to where we want it to go, and that's why we use our tape measure. And we're doing a three foot on spacing. So we go from the center of this tree to the center of that tree, and this tree has to move a little bit this way. We get it centered up this way, and we'll center it up against the line. Dig it out. Well, it's straight. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, that's good that way. Let's go back to the line. And then we're going 42 off the string. That looks like it's about right. We'll put that back on. Just to make sure. Measure twice, make sure you get it right. If anything, it should probably go to the fence just a little bit. To the fence, okay. Yeah. So we put a little bit of dirt in there. Lock it this way. That's why it's important to have the hole bigger than what you need it. That way you can rock the tree around and you can get it to where you want it. Then the next thing is when we backfill, we can get our shovel in there and we can. Make sure there's no air pockets down in there and it's solid firm. If there is air pockets, what happens is the soil starts to settle and your tree can start leaning side to side. So that's why we want to have it so we can get the soil around the trees. If you look at our trees, we've been I'm moving them back and forth in the holes, taking one out and putting another one in its place. What I'm trying to do is, I, if you look at them, I don't want all the fat ones close together and all the thin ones because there is a range in the trees. So we want to spread them out to make them as uniform as possible. So when you look at it, you don't notice there's a difference in the line. So we're just about there. If you take a look at it, we only have to measure out the last four to make sure that they're right in line. And uh, we do measure it out. And after we get finished with measuring, we also stand back at like 10 feet away. And we take a visual inspection of it because sometimes when you measure it out, it may not look right even though it's measured correctly so we have to take a little bit into account for that as well. So I would say measuring is definitely important but also taking a look at it and making sure it looks correct from your point of view too. This is called an emerald green arborvitae. This is five to six foot tall. It is very very commonly used arborvitae. You, all the plant stores that you go to should carry this and a lot of times people like picking this type of plant because if one would die, it's easy to find a replacement. I punched two holes, but I